Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to apply for the Turkish government scholarship step by step with no steps skipped. Yes, I'm going to take you through the application right from the registration stage till you select your universities and courses, fill in your letter of intent and submit your application. If you want to do this with me, please get your laptop right now and let us do it together. But before that, I wanted to get your documents ready just like I have done here. And if possible, classify them into a folder just like I have here. I have all my certificates here and um, I have my international exams here, which are not necessary if you don't have them, it's totally fine. That's, what I, that's why I have put them in a folder. Then my academic transcripts combined, uh, letter of recommendation, my face picture and my letter of intent and my passport. If you don't have all these documents right now, it's still fine. We can do this all together. And when you have your documents, you simply upload them because I will show you where to upload each document. More so, I know so many people face problems when using the application portal because they don't know where to upload the, the right documents and sometimes it doesn't accept or you are using the wrong format probably. Sometimes it doesn't let you move to the next section. Don't worry, in this video, we're going to answer all your questions on those issues. I know that um, there are other issues regarding um, English proficiency and some international exams as well as the letter of intent and letter of recommendation. Are these documents really compulsory? Do they really affect? If yes, how much? All this are also going to be spoken about while I show you how to apply for the scholarship and how to upload your document. If you are new here, my name is Bauza Zakaria. I make videos on scholarship study abroad and life as an international student in Turkey. If you'd like to see more of this, if you like videos like this, then please do well to subscribe, like, and share with friends. Thank you very much. Let the music come in. Dim, 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 dim. Oh, I miss this. <laughs> Okay, let's get right started. I'm going to click on register right here. Bowser. Zakaria, please write your names as it is written on your passport. If you don't have your passport, check how it is written on your uh, ID cards. I'm choosing 2002. Uh, I'm choosing January. I'm choosing one. I'm choosing Nigeria. A lot of people apply uh, with their phones. I know it's possible. However, I advise you use a laptop. It's more convenient. Yes, I created a new Gmail account for this because I want to show you guys how to do every single step of this application. After this video, you would not face any problem regarding the application that is what i aim to achieve yes okay we're going to go fast but we're not going to skip any step are you sure let's go i approve save registration has been successfully completed i would like to save this password so that i can remember it in my gmail account if you don't want that's totally fine Okay, so I have to go to my Gmail. Yeah, it's right here. Activation Bilgisi. Activation details. Click on this link to activate your account. Okay, Sabinis active It has been activated. <laughs> when you come here, you have to learn Turkish for the first year. Yeah, irrespective of your level. Yo, and that's why I like to save my gmail okay beautiful now we are here this ones with the red exclamation marks are the compulsory part you have to fill so you don't have to fill this 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 or this okay let me quickly uh, do a run through of this page if you click on home page you will see the scholarships you can apply for right here on the graduate scholarship program for master's degree you click here phd research and all we can come here to select language turkish english arabic there are eight different languages here so definitely you find one for yourself. You can find the terms and conditions of application right here. And if you click on this link right here, search scholarship, let's click on it. It opens a new tab. Come here to find courses and universities. So let's type philosophy and search counts of department 15. That means there are 15 departments of philosophy here that you can choose from. Philosophy and religious studies, Islamic philosophy, uh, history of science and philosophy. And you can see the level. So this lets you know which courses you can apply for. Let's type something like um, uh, education. There should be there should be a lot of results under this. 37 departments. 
and what this means is the number of universities that are offering this course. Let's come to international relations, a course that uh, a lot of people usually apply for. Very competitive one, just like uh, medicine and engineering, especially computer engineering. 50 different departments. International relations for political science and international relations. This is mixed. Hmm, three, just three or four. You this technical, Istanbul, Chukurova. Yeah, this is a very good tool. Use it to search and you can filter, you know. You can choose a university here. Let's see, I delete this. I come here to click on Hajetepe. Yeah, Hajetepe is right here. You don't need to select nationality. Let's click on search. 116 from Hajetepe for different courses. I have got a lot of resources for you to apply for this scholarship without any problems. Trust me, for the past two years we've been making videos on this, alhamdulillah, and thank you for the support. Uh, it's been uh, immense, the growth so far. Yeah, so I want to show you the videos that can really help you for this. If you search for Bowser, you'd find some of my videos, inshallah. Yes, oh, alhamdulillah. Okay, if you click on the channel and come to playlist, you would find this right here, view full playlist. So many videos are here to help you apply for the scholarship. So if you don't know the documents to apply, you can just come here and uh, you find the documents you need right here. How to write a good letter of intent, the one I uploaded two years ago and the one I uploaded last year. Very good, full of resources and examples to help you write good ones. If you're an undergraduate wishing to apply for this scholarship, please use these resources especially. You can also get a summary with this three minute video. And there are some mistakes you need to avoid, especially regarding this application portal. Uh, for those who want to check out what Ankara Yildirim Bears is like, what Hajitepe University is like, you can find them here. This one tells you about the top 10 universities in Turkey and um, their tuition fees and uh, departments they are good for. I classify them like that into um, different departments and faculties so that you know which ones are actually the best for you for your course. Okay, now that that is clear, we can simply return. Everything is good. Alhamdulillah. Let's go. I like the energy. Hope you are also applying with me. Okay, so we have to fill in these necessary details. Let's do that real quick. Yes, let's start with the profile photo. So I'm gonna choose this, my face pic. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, we can simply adjust this to make it look nice. Can we extend it? Yeah, we can extend it, so that's good. Let me click on, okay. Not the best picture ever, but oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Anyways, let's go. So I'm going to put in my details here real quick. Single, this. Uh, city of birth. Ah, okay, I have to choose country of birth first. And city of birth, choose Lagos. Good. Type of ID. And then this is good. Based on your country, you get the options of ID here. So, um, fortunately for those that ask that, if you have your driver's license without your passport or your NIN, can you use that instead? Um, unfortunately, um, it's not among the list here. However, there is what you can do if you are still trying to get your NIN, probably it is in process. You can click on this and upload your driver's license. However, we don't know how they would react to that. Anyways, just try to um, do something. It's better than not applying at all. Let's put some random number, 226. Now, let's choose um, our ID card. We have a very nice ID card. Where is my ID card? Oh, my passport is here. So I'm going to choose passports. Uh, that's nice. Oh, passport number, 67. Type of passport, P. P for Nigeria because that is what is written on your passport. I'm sure if you check um, your passport, you'll find uh, what to write here. But a lot of people say it's not important, so don't worry about it. Our country code is 234 in Nigeria and the passport document is what I will attach right here. My passport, that's it, that's it. I don't have a citizenship of any other country, so I'm going to click save. And guess what? We're done with personal information. Beautiful. If you want to fill in your information and hobbies, if you want to fill in your special talent information, you are all good to go. Yeah, mother's name, a scholarship, father's name, an applicant. I'm bad at naming, sorry. Number of siblings, let's say 17. <laughs> Is your mother alive? Yes. Is your father alive? No. Marital single. My mother works. Uh, if I don't click this, Okay, we can quickly skip that. Mm, let's say, uh, let's choose the IS one here, but you calculate and choose yours. Okay, that's good. Now, let's go to contact info. You see, we're doing it real quick. You don't need to 
stress at all. We'll tell you when you get to the very important parts, okay? Now, in Nigeria, I live in Lagos. Let's choose Lagos, okay? And I'll be write some postcode 11124. Okay, I don't know if that actually exists, but that would be cool. 678. And that's nice. Again, eight. Beautiful street. Bowser Street, building number one, door number one. Let's go. If you are residing in a different country and you are just there for a short period of time, I'm sure you can use this option. How long have you been living in this address? Oh, all my life. So I'm going to write 30 years. And then uh, finally, we have save. Cleared. In few minutes, we are done with this three. Let's go to education information. Now we've got into the serious part. If you want to apply for undergraduates, all you need to do is fill high school. If you want to apply for masters, you need to fill high school and bachelor's degree. If you want to apply for PhD, you need to fill in your postgraduate degree. Here is actually was meant for masters. But don't worry, let me just start with undergraduate for now and then uh, we are going to uh, come to masters and PhD level. Don't forget, use the timestamps in the description below to skip to whichever part you're interested in. Okay, let's go. Uh, we click on high school. Uh, let's come here. I have to choose a country again. Everything is choosing country. Uh, well, that's good. In case you did your, con your high school in some other country. Uh, school, let's see. Oh, it has the list of all schools here. So I'm going to choose some random one. Adbede Senior Grammar School, Adbede Kurodu. That's nice. Uh, let's choose what? Secondary Education, Yusabi. And um, General High School, you can choose religious if it was a Christian only, Muslim only school. I'm sure you guys understand this thing, so I'm going quite fast because we need to speak about the important parts. Science or Natural Sciences. Let's choose Sciences. Uh, uh, please select I am graduated 2021 minus 6 is what 2026. 20, oh, perfect. Now, great type. A lot of people ask about this as well. In Nigeria, the system is what A1 to F9. I'm sure in some other countries they use 4 or 5, they use the GPA system. I'm going to choose this. Then, how do you choose your average grade? Imagine taking all this as 1 1 point each, right? So, let's say this starts from uh, 1 to three, four, five, six, and you calculate them and calculate the average. And so we can put an average of, let's say, B3. Now, we've got into another important part. Here, on that diploma, all you need to upload is your high school graduation certificate. In some countries, it is known as graduation certificate, some testimonial, some diploma. Whatever it is, the document you got after graduating from your high school is what you upload here. So let's go to my all certificates. How can I make this look really big? View extra large icons. I have designed all these certificates on Canva using the free version so that I just show you guys what it's like. So where is my high school diploma? It's right here, high school diploma. I click on it and that's it. Now, transcripts. In some high schools, the transcripts you get is just one document summarizing all results of the past three years. So you have results from your year 12, year 10, and year 11, right? Why for some, they don't have such, or maybe they don't even have their transcript yet. What I think you should do is, um, just like I have done here, is what combine all of them into one big PDF. So I want to show you what this is like. I'm going to upload it. And then, um, have you received any significant ranking? If you rank first at your, at your school, you choose yes. So let me quickly choose no, just to show you guys. Uh, what this transcript is like oh that was sweet now if i come here to edit it i should be able to click on it to confirm that i uploaded the right documents so i just made this up on canva too let's close this to see what it is like can i make this bigger well, why am i even stressing myself let me show you right here academic transcripts combined let me open it with adobe so you can see clearly okay here it is i created some uh, very nice transcript you can see this chart is nice and everyone is nice right here so this is for ss3 or year 12 for the senior year which was the final year and here is for year 11 which is the second to the final year and this is the first year of high school so they want the last three years but i understand that some countries spend only two years in high school junior high school sorry, junior school, uh, what do you call it, is just two years and high school is two years. I totally understand that you can also upload the results, the transcript of those two years only. No problems at all. After all, so many people have applied from your countries and they've accepted them. So um, I'm sure if that is the system, they will totally understand. However, if you have a result from the 
third year from the other high school, the junior high school. Including it is um, also a good option. I even recommend that. So you just be on the safe side, you know, because they stated it clearly that they want you to have the last three years of high school. Now that is clear, we can simply minimize all this and go on. So we've confirmed that what we uploaded is correct. Let's also confirm for this by clicking this. Yeah, a very nice diploma designed by myself. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, let's go. So we're done with that and that's pretty clear let's click on language details yes this is where you upload your english proficiency test if you have one so what language is your native language i am from nigeria and i speak yoruba yes energy house energy kadan kadaban jiba so say so say ah my Igbo people okay they call the other mouth they can very serious thank you <laughs> thank you i'm still trying to learn you know anyways let's go i want to select another language so i'm going to come back to this ha <laughs> good i now want to add other language skills okay let's come here i choose english yes i speak english and if you choose the level advanced once you click this you get the option to upload whatever document you want so right here i have made some uh, uh fake documents that are not pretty nice uh, but uh, please bear with me so i just chose TOEFL results and um, I can see it's quite cute. Some people say they have TOEFL home based tests. Don't worry, just upload it under one of these, okay? No problem. So I choose TOEFL, I choose the grade, it's not letting me choose, that's cool. And I say I took it in maybe 2021st January and uh, maybe January 27th. Yeah, it's letting me choose the grade now. So let's say I got 590, that's okay. And the grade is what? How is TOEFL graded? Why is it starting from 600? Ah, now it's changed. Yeah, let's say you got a uh, one one two, and that's okay. Is there any decimal? One one two point something is what you put in here. Point zero zero. I'm sure it should be zero zero point zero. That's cool. Save, and that is it. That is it. Very clear, very straightforward. No problems. You still have this exclamation mark because we are here to answer this. I don't speak Turkish. I am a new applicant. When I get to Turkey, I would learn Turkish. Oh. That's good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Turkey experience. Let's edit this and uh, we do the necessary details. Are you in Turkey now? Have you ever been to Turkey? No. I will learn about the scholarship. I got it from YouTube, social media. Do you have a relative who is currently or was previously or no? Or yes, if you have one. And do you have any relatives in Turkey? No. And that's all. Okay, simple. And guess what, guys? We're ready to apply for scholarship so we go back to home page okay now let's do this click on apply this question comes why because i said i graduated from high school in 2021 remember now one year what did you do what were you doing that's what they want you to answer here so you can click on other if none of this describe what you did and let them know you write down here and say i it I just made that up. Save. Okay, click on apply. Before proceeding, make sure you have done this, make sure you have done that. Why? Because once you click on apply, once you click on accept, you cannot make any changes on this side again. So you have to make sure that everything is clear. And guess what, guys? Actually, filling all this is enough, right? Like, that's all the uh, portal requires from you. However, if you want to increase your chances, you would want to add some extracurricular activities that may support your application. Say you want to study biology and um, maybe you had some one month, two month experience in some lab and uh, you would like to include that. That is what these parts are for, social activities or work experience. Any one you use is fine. And um, let's say you took the SAT, the GRE, you can come here to simply is that so before we go i want to quickly um fill in stuff into this part as well so that we, we can you know increase our chances so what is the exam here i want to write sat sat okay sat new that was since 20 what i'm not sure i say i took that in 2021 let's say december and let's say uh, grade one to fifty zero zero decimal which country do you take it and the proving document or you can do sign into your college web accounts, download your results and upload it here. 
SAT results. Pardon me, guys, these um, images are not very, very nice, but uh, I just wanted to show you that it is not compulsory, you know? Okay, beautiful. And if you want to add more, you're welcome. Let's go to work experience to see if you can do something here. Oh, if you've done your internship somewhere, that's very useful here, you know? Uh, maybe in your last year of high school, maybe, or in your last year of undergraduate, you can use this part to fill it, you know, and even upload your CV if you have it. So I have done this, I can click on add, I can click on country, I can click on Nigeria, and the institution name, BZ, and then duration of internship, how many months? Three months, subject of topic, beautiful, and uh, save. Yeah, they named this CV, but they just wanted to upload any document to prove your experience in this internship. Yeah, uh, and uh, I have something I have prepared, which is um, something like this, or certificate, employment certificate. Let's see what it looks like. I click on save. Let's see, I click on it here. I use the Canva to create this as well. That's beautiful. And I can click on save happily. Oh, what didn't I feel here? What's going on? Save. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh Yeah, these are the problems you face with this scholarship sometimes. And I totally understand. Okay, let's come here. Let's do this again. Huh. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's it. Okay, social activities. Let's go. Social activities, you can put in any voluntary activities here or some certificates. Let's say you participated in some um, competition and you got a certificate for uh, winning the first place. This is where you put it. So let's say Olympiad. Olympiad. Let's say it was in 2020 when I was still a young boy. Yeah and uh, I click on document. I also preferred a, prepared a simple, yeah, document here, yeah, this one, uh, the extracurricular certificates. Mm, I like the fact that I named them properly, it's making me find them easily. This was for competition. Beautiful, aha, uh -huh. and save. Uh-oh, what's going on? Award a project as educate field. Olympiad winner. I just made that up. Uh, you can write anything there, but, uh, yeah, and that's it. And that's it, guys. It's so cool. It's so simple. So straightforward. Okay, now that we have ticked almost every box here, we're good to apply. Ooh.